Welcome back, everybody. The Eastern Cape Development Corporation will host the second Eastern Cape Film Expo during Makanda's National Arts Festival following the success of the first event. The Film Expo showcases both local and international creativity and cultural delights, providing industry professionals with the opportunity to strengthen their business relationships and to showcase their projects and film programs in the province. Joining us now to discuss what will happen at the Expo is ECDC Senior Manager Pagamisa George and on behalf of Creatives is Sivukiba. A very good morning to you two. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome to Morning Live. Good morning and thank you for having me and morning live. And a very good morning to Pagamile, and I'm going to start with you. Just tell us a bit more about the goals and the objectives of the second installation of the Eastern Cape Film Expo. Thank you very much um, and, and thank uh, a lot to the viewers. Um, good morning. Uh, the second chapter really is to uh, expand on the gains that the Eastern Cape uh, received from the first chapter, which was last year in Makanda, to get uh, to provide opportunities to more young and up and coming uh, filmmakers in the province and uh, productions that have been shot in the Eastern Cape, an opportunity to have a distribution platform to get into contact with uh, uh, producers, uh, funders, uh, distributors as funders as well so that their production uh, would not end, only end in their gadgets uh, and, and then their USBs, but uh, mm. is, is, is able to. Uh, but but I, I, more and more, we also want to uh, showcase the Eastern Cape is a beautiful and attractive destination for, for, for filmmaking. Uh, because um, some, you know during the screening of some of the production, uh, it will also uh, showcase and market uh, the very beautiful scenarios uh, uh, in around uh, our locations uh, in the Eastern Cape. So what can we expect from this year's Film Expo? I mean, are there any major changes or new features? Oh, yes, yes. Um, we, we've now expanded the Film Expo to include um, uh, information on uh, some treaties uh, with, uh, you know, between South Africa, Canada, Germany, uh, and other countries such as Kenya, uh, Nigeria for co-production. Uh, uh, because they've already shown interest and with Nigeria we've already done uh, uh, production uh, with up and coming uh, film producers in the Eastern Cape uh, because we want to promote uh, the and, and, and leave the AFCFTA uh, and see it in action in the film industry in the Eastern Cape. So that would be uh, uh, forthcoming uh, but uh, they, there's more uh, space now for a screening of uh, Eastern Cape uh, short uh, uh, productions uh, that will be given an opportunity to be aired uh, and, 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 and broadcast uh, during the, um, the, the days of the Eastern Cape Film Expo. All right. Sivu, let me also bring you into this conversation. What inspired you to become a filmmaker and how did you get a head start in the industry? Um, thank you very much and good morning to you and to your viewers as well. Mm -hmm. um, I would say that for me, what really inspired was me living in uh, Western Cape in the beginning. Um, that's where my career in the film industry started. Um, very exciting platform to um, grow and kind of develop as uh, a young filmmaker. At that time I was still working in various um, production companies and um, we took a leap to relocate back to our own um, province just to kind of, you know, be part of the development and also to, um, you know, kind of grow within the industry, plow back what we've learned in other provinces and yeah, I would say. Yeah. And how do you think this expo can help uh, support and promote local lo local filmmakers like yourself? Um, I think it's a, a really brilliant, brilliant um, start within the industry of Eastern Cape, um, the film industry within the Eastern Cape. 
um, because previously before there wasn't um, a film festival of this nature. And last year when I attended the film festival, it was such an exciting platform to be because, you know, not only was the atmosphere exciting, but also to have industry experts um, in the platform where you're getting to rub shoulders with um, distributors where you, before you wouldn't have had that in the yeah. Eastern Cape. Yeah. So for me, it was really a brilliant platform to be in as a filmmaker. Um, I got to also sh exchange um, business cards with the distributor and they had a high interest in my film. And um, yeah, it, it's, it's just such an incredible platform to be in. And I'm very grateful that the Eastern Cape can actually, um, the ECDC can actually see um, the importance of having such um, expos within the province yeah. so that we can grow as, um, as filmmakers and film production companies. Right. Pagamisa, let me also pose the same question to you about just how important it is for the Eastern Cape to have its own film expo and how it sort of contributes to the local film industry. Um, it's very important for the Eastern Cape. Uh, the provincial government uh, since 2018 uh, identified this industry because of its potential to absorb and provide opportunities for employment uh, and skills and skilling for young and, and youth. Uh, youth unemployment is a big problem. So this industry, we see it as one of the um, uh, absorbing um, industries for young, uh, uh, for, for, for youth. And, uh, and therefore, um, you know, providing such a platform and, and, and enabling the youth uh, with their talents, uh, being able to come into contact with the distributors, producers, funders, uh, to us is a great opportunity. And, and also, I think it's, it's what is also important is that uh, uh, we also featuring this year one of the production done by Voltage, um, a, a UK company uh, that did a production in the Sun Sunshine Coast in, um, in in the Eastern Cape, um, and and uh, they are coming to also tell um, other national international producers about the experience that they had when they shot um, a documentary called uh, Tempting Fortunes uh, last year. Uh, which was destined for uh, Channel 4 in the UK and Australia. Uh, you know, th that experience is very important because um, Voltage is becoming a good ambassadors internationally for the Eastern Cape, vouching for our value proposition that Eastern Cape is an at the most attractive destination for filmmaking. So who are some of the notable guests or speakers that will be attending this year's events and what kind of uh, contribution are they bringing to this expo? Uh, would be, you know, um, hosting uh, first and foremost the CEO of the National Film and Video Foundation that will be talking, uh, uh, telling us about the trends um, uh, and shifts in the film and video uh, industry in South Africa so that everyone is aware of what is taking place. Um, uh, but not only that, uh, we'll be having uh, very interesting uh, speakers uh, uh, such as the Netherlands Film Commission, uh, Mr. Bas van der Perrier, talking about, you know, uh, uh, the opportunities for co-production between our very own producers and the Netherlands. And, uh, you know, uh, speakers such as uh, Daya Dumas from Kubu Film in Germany, talking about their interest in doing co-productions, uh, you know, with the Eastern Cape uh, filmmakers, uh, would, of course, have our Mbumakapa TV, uh, which, with whom the ECDC is a partner, to provide an opportunity for a uh, small production from young and up-and-coming film producers uh, where we'll be using one of their channels uh, to showcase this uh, small production uh, in order to attract attention from other uh, distributors. Um, okay. We also would the public, film and publication uh, right. you know, uh, to take Unfortunately, we're out of time, uh, Pagamile George, but uh, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Pagamile George and Sifu Giba, lovely chatting to you too. Thank you so much for joining us and uh, all the best in this expo. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you very much. Indeed, it's an it's absolute so pleasure. Well, that was Pagamile George and Sifu Giba speaking to us about the Eastern Cape Film Expo that will take place on the 28th of June.